Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, so welcome back and today it's Tuesday, which means a new episode of Vanderpump Rules and also a new episode of The Valley. I'm so excited because that means tomorrow we're back for all of the fun. That means we get to ish talk and do everything in between, especially with all of the news coming out and the Vanderpump Rules reunion leaks. However, this video is more of a mashup because we have Tom Sandoval, whose girlfriend apparently broke up with him at, last night after a fight. We have some Atlanta. We have some Salt Lake City. We have some New Jersey. And it just sounds like we have a lot of time to kill. So before we jump in, go ahead, pop off in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's get right into it. Speaking of getting right into it, guys, everybody is getting ready for Mother's Day, whether it's for your mom or somebody who's like a mother figure, or if you're just celebrating with your friends and family, it doesn't really matter because this gift has no bias. We collaborated with one of my favorite companies, roseforever.com, and as you can see here, they're absolutely stunning. They smell beautiful, they look delicious, and it comes in a velvet box and they're preserved for over a year. So you guys definitely have to check them out. Go to roseforever.com. And if you do decide to buy, then I have two codes for you, which I'm going to pin in the comment section and also in the description of this video. Code ADAM40 for $40 off, and then also code ADAM accompanied with that to get free shipping. Now, with that, let's talk about the breakup. Boom. Here we go. Okay. Thank you to realityt.com. Tom Sandoval and his new girlfriend, Victoria Lee Robinson, unfollowed each other on Instagram. Now, before I get into the story, can I just say, Bravo fans all over the place were calling this, saying that this breakup was going to happen the minute that they announced that Vanderpump Rules was on pause. There were so many memes making fun of the Tom's girlfriend, saying that they were investing themselves, Victoria Lee Robinson and... Sophia Scoro, investing themselves into the Toms in order to get some screen time. And then all of a sudden, when the going gets tough, the new girls get going. It looks like they weren't in it for the long haul. Well, technically, Sophia Scoro is still around. So I can't say anything about her. But Victoria Lee Robinson, something happened. Because there was a post that Victoria and Tom Sandoval unfollowed each other. And then Billy Lee unfollowed Victoria and Tom Sandoval. So I don't know what that looked like but it obviously wasn't a good thing. Back to it. Here we go. Tom Sandoval has not had a great journey with the ladies to start. He and Kristen Doty went up in flames in the earlier days of Vanderpump Rules, and we all know what happened with Ariana Maddox. Now, post Ariana, Tom started dating a younger than him model named Victoria Lee Robinson. With Victoria, Tom seemed to fall pretty hard and fast. He even called her his addiction. Yet, following Tom's recent taping at Watch What Happens Live with Jax Taylor, there was a problem. The two have since unfollowed each other, and now there are so many questions. When it comes to Vanderpump Rules, Watch What Happens Live is a main character. The last night, or the night that the entire Scandal storyline broke, Sheena and Rachel had just wrapped the taping of the series in New York City. When Sheena found out post-filming, Rachel claimed that Sheena reacted to this massive bombshell in a physical manner. And this saw Rachel obtaining a restraining order against her co-star. Now the boys just had their night or day of filming, and it looks like the drama's all happening once again, with or without Sheena's hashtag. As for the end results, this is them breaking it down as clearly as they can because it all reads like a middle school play. Tom has now unfollowed both Jax and Victoria. The reasons as to why are currently running rampant. We don't know. Did Victoria get jaxed? Uh, we hope not. Now, as for Victoria, she unfollowed Tom, but she still follows his band, his bestie Tom Shorts, and also Billy Lee. Yes, Billy Lee's involved somehow, and that's kind of weird. But in addition, Billy Lee has unfollowed both Tom and, and Victoria, but Tom still follows Billy. Meanwhile, Jack still follows Tom and Victoria, but not Billy. And we don't really know what the hell is happening. But what we do know is, again, a complete and utter shit show. Let's take it over to Jersey for a second. We're going to take a breath. Thank you to Breaking the Rules Pod. 
also are privy to some insider intel, which is that Teresa Judice and Louis Ruelas and Jennifer Aiden have, a, I guess, a direct line into the sun and they spill their tea through the sun. Is that right? Am I doing that right? The gossip rag, the sun? Yeah. Yeah. I was on, I was on the phone with Jim Leonard and he made it very clear that Diana Cooper at the sun is on their team. In the middle of June, when I was DMing with John Fuda's ex, Brittany, the Sun released another article per Diana Cooper talking about Brittany to keep her in the press. There was a reason why she was going to stay relevant and they needed her out there because she was going to use Brittany's DM against John Fuda as season 14 storyline. So yes, they have connections. You also are privy to some insider intel, which is that Teresa Judice and Louis Ruelas mm -hmm. and Jennifer Aiden have, a, I guess, a direct line into the sun. And they. OK. That's probably not a good look. But moving on now over to Salt Lake City. Oy, oy, oy. So thank you to Reality Blurb. Things have been tense during the filming for season five of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Now they have wrapped filming but it was recently reported that mary cosby unfortunately called lisa barlow's 12 year old son the r word now a report is revealing where mary and lisa stand after the feud plus did mary confirm for fans who her closest allies are for the upcoming season of the show that's what the question mark mary was a full-time housewife for the first two seasons of salt lake city and then she then left the show after skipping the season two reunion but she returned as a friend of for season four it's been said that she's in a full-time housewife mode for the upcoming season, but neither Bravo nor production have confirmed the rumor. According to RadarOnline.com, Lisa was understandably upset about Mary referring to her son in the way that she did. However, an insider told the publication that the ladies are all good. Essentially, they have moved on from the hurtful use of the word because they are co-workers and have a show to film. However, the insider remarked that this isn't something Lisa will forget. The incident is said to have happened during what has been called a crazy fight. Additionally, the entire cast was grossed out, and rightfully so, because it's unclear what could have provoked Mary to take things this far. But it's not like this would be the first time that she's ever made unhinged comments. I don't know if you guys remember. She made comments about Jen Shaw being a part of some sort of gang. I'm not going to... You guys have seen the show. She also made comments about heather gay that were completely inappropriate but the inbred thing that was awful um she has body shamed mary cosby gets away with saying a lot a lot of nasty negative comments she does get away with a lot i'm gonna leave that there for you guys because i think that it, I, I just think it's kind of it's wild it just blows my mind the incident is said to have happened during what's been called a crazy fight, but additionally, the cast, entire cast was grossed out, right? So in other Salt Lake City news, Mary recently posted an Instagram video, and it has many believing that this was a reveal of sh who she'll be the closest to this season. She posted the video with the caption, be around the people that you love and that care about you, God first. In the video, fans can see castmates Angie Katsanavis and Whitney Rose. Of course, Mary and Whitney have had a strange relationship, to say the least, but it looks like as of now... We're good. I mean, listen, I think it's healthy to switch up the dynamics for any of the cast because one of the biggest complaints is like Giselle and Robin are always together. Marisol and Alexia are always together. You know, like Kyle and Dorit were always together. So now that we're switching up dynamics, I think it's not a bad thing. But I want to hear what you guys think. Again, before you go, pop off in the comment section, especially about Tom Sandoval's breakup. But don't forget to check out our collaboration with our partners, Rose Forever, roseforever.com, and use both of our codes to buy the maternal figure in your life, the best, most beautiful gift. Code ADAM40 for $40 off, and then also code ADAM for free shipping. You can pair them together. Love you guys. See you next time.